What's up guys? All right, so today um, I'm gonna train little John. For you shorter guys that wanna learn how to squat, this is gonna be something. And, <laughs> hey, get off me, John. <laughs> this is little John. <laughs> so, uh, one big thing, and this is a uh, big, oh. <laughs> we ruined it. <laughs> yeah. You've never squatted before. Never. Never squatted. Um, and this is gonna happen with a lot of people, and I think uh, uh, Heath will agree with me on this, is that a lot of tall guys stay away from it because of the aspect of, uh, it's bad for your back, it's bad for your knees. So today we are gonna take my boy with me, teach him how to squat, and this is gonna be great for all of you guys that are over uh, six, six foot. Um, again, Heath Evans is 5'11", 6'3". 5'11", 7'8". 5'11", with shoes. 6'6", six, six, bigger than that. <laughs> Let's go. And, and the great thing is we got Mike Ryan here. So, and Mike's gonna be in spandex all day long, which is a great plus. <laughs> Hi, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Steve, can do all right, that. so we're doing a lot of different squats today. A lot of different people. Uh, we got a pro athlete. That's 415. We got a businessman. 415. Um, I have no idea what he's talking about. We got about. a model actor, and we have some newbies. But we also have a guy that's taller than all of us learning to squat for the first time. So what we did is we set up the bench. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be automatically saying that this is too high to go. Trust me, for you guys that aren't sure about depth, it's fine, guys. Range of motion, especially just starting. Hands up. Ass back. Go. Let's go. Up. Now, come around the side here. This is what I want you to pick up on. Watch this. Look at his knees. That's where I want you guys. And that's beautiful. This is depth. This is depth. Everything we're doing here, that's what I want. Range of motion. I'm going barefoot. I don't like these shoes. Going barefoot. Good range. Good range. Sitting back on it. Beautiful. Now he wants to go up and start using the bar. I need that mind to muscle connection and for his body and his nervous system to understand the range of motion he's doing. So this is a big different world for what I need him doing relative to what he may want to do. Good, Johnny. Little John, done. Then we go straight over here, something completely different. Again, squats, main focus, quad development. Beautiful. Again, be smart on this. This is an advanced movement. This is what we call the isolation squats. What I did is make this harder on yourself, stronger knees for him. Heels up. Um, you guys would uh, probably, a lot of this is similar to a bodybuilding squat, except we keep the bar low instead of going high bar squats. All right, let's go. Now, Steve, we're gonna be taken through the first time here. Wide stance. We need more leg development here. He's getting ready for his show, chest up, chest up. Good, great form, great form. Sit back again. Look how far he's sitting back. That's what I want, guys. That range of motion sitting all the way back. Beautiful, 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 man. Man, I'm proud of you. Kid, nice. Where'd you get that hoodie? Love it. Mm -hmm. You come into the gym and you're thinking you're the big man, and then you got guys like this hanging around. <laughs> All these big boys. Size. <laughs> so here's the scoop. We're still keeping little John controlled and, and no weights yet. This will be his last set with no weight. Then we will move up to the bars. Let's go, last one. Ready to graduate to the bar. Same thing here now. 
It can be a different different angle again. Just so you guys can understand, five pound plates, a couple fingers in between, so it's very, very narrow, especially for a guy that's over six foot like Heath. <laughs> Come on, kid. <laughs> Points on the setup. No rushing it. Feet close together. It's got lifting shoes on. Hands up by the nearly up by the line. Low bar. Control. It'll just roll through the store if you just hold it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep your head right. It's my lead. So Daniel's my little formulator, my Wikipedia, my Google. Let's go, kid. I do not recommend wearing whatever he's wearing here or those, but hey, whatever. You are going to get some great angles on what he's going to be doing. Setting a PR right now, getting a double. Watch the speed. Watch the speed. Slow the speed down. Nice, Develop. Nice. Look at the legs. Beautiful. Go again. Go again. This is a new PR for him now. He has got better with time, with age. That's what I want all of you guys to do. Go again. Daniel son. Daniel son. Wow, let's see the pose. Let's see the pose. Oh, oh. Oh, there you go, man. This is like, I don't know, 1975? 74. Up, oh, boom. Outstanding. Oh, he just sw oh, switched up. You see the legs? Legs went with it. I love it, kid. You're a stud. Oh, Mo wants the camera back. Taking them up now, getting the bar. Again, how much you weigh in? Three, 317. 317, so he's about 320 pound guy, six, six foot six, never squatted before. He's a pup. And we're gonna make him stronger now at his early 30s than he is ever gonna be at. He's gonna be stronger at 40, he's gonna be stronger at 50. And that's starting with this and teaching him how to do this. For you tall guys, this is what's gonna give you longevity. This is what's gonna give you longevity. Staying away from it, your body's gonna deteriorate. So, let's go. Set up strong. Open the knees out. Nice. Begin. Sit back. Go. Take your time. Take your time, go. Perfect. Big points, go. Go. Down, open. Back up. Nice, go again. Down, open, back up. Couple more, couple more. Back up, and again. Take the notes, guys. Work through this slowly. Everyone saw me do five, let's go. Everyone saw me do five, let's go. Nice and easy. There's no touch here. There's no touch here. Let's go. Get in those hips. Get in those hips. Nice, nice. Nice, man. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. 
start something different. Your feet are in the same position. Can we move your feet? Stevie, stop. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. More. More. All right. Hands on. Just changing up the form now. Let's go. Sit back. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Breathe through this. Nice. No, no, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Go. Go again. Complete change. Getting used to this. Nice. So we got a safety bar with another bar in front. Now for you guys that have issues with knees or lower back or anything where you can't reach back to grab the bar, I want you to try this. Some of the big notes I want you to do. This is for Steve today. This is going to be a change of his leg position. Heath, you'll see do this, but it'll be a different way. What are you working today? Quads, because I've worked out with this beast for almost three years now. I can get stronger with ease doing everything that he preaches and coaches. But my quads never separate. They never lean out. Even when he stripped me down a year and a half ago, my quads didn't really come in. So I am bound and determined to just focus quad, quad, quad. I don't need any more strength, plenty strong, but uh, I don't know what that was. Steve just had a seizure, so uh, we're getting these quads going. Big John over here squatting, going again, seven sets, but we also have Chris Bell, my boy, uh, training right now. Something that you guys don't know is, is I, mean, I know you're gonna hate this, because it's your excuse. <laughs> What I, I, what I don't want to hear is that you have arthritis and you're not going to do this. Best thing for nice. arthritis is movement. Um, it, it's just, that, that is it, man. More than medication, more than anything else, it's movement is the best thing for arthritis. On top of that, my brother here has two new hips. Um, so again, this goes back to everything, man. You're, you're born with whatever genetics you're born with. Movement is key. Um, the heavier weight like relative to what you can do is key. Like and um, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to watch Chris now do uh, a safety bar squat, a good depth, good range of motion, open this up. man he's inspired me you know in a big way more than he knows to make a comeback him and my brother 20 years 20 plus years 20 plus we're, we're closing at 25 except for i went forward you're going backwards because you look better at benjamin but uh, the uh, health and fitness world uh, again i i can't say it enough but uh just getting in doing it getting the motion it's consistency it's i I'd like to tell you there's a trick to what we do, um, but it's the hardest thing in the world is consistency. So you know what the hardest trick is on that? Setting up, like when you're, you were saying, we're back, we're back. All I could think about was 20 years ago when you and Ron would drill into my head. Form, heels and hips, remember? Heels and hips, your form, sit back. So all that's running through my head, and there's a big reason why I got three instead of two on the last set because all that shit's running through my head and I just got, you know, and I was watching my feet placement, making sure my feet went the right place, all those little things, they're, they're kind of automatic, they happen on a split second, but all those little adjustments need to happen or else you're not gonna get it. Love you too, love you too, buddy. Thank you.
All right, Saturday, leg day. We are moving into hour two, all right? We take our time to warm up. We did some initial box squats. Now you see this easy bar squat, okay? All right, you see the weight, 405. We give you some angles. The toes are nearly straight ahead, all right? There's about 12 inches between the heels. And then slow, controlled, there is no power movement involved in this whatsoever. Watch the tempo. Quads, 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 control, slight touch. You're not sitting, and then you are driving through those quads. All right, Mike, right here, you see the constant tension. All right, be smart. Play around with what you're comfortable with. Start light, build up. This is going to absolutely annihilate your quads for a finisher of your workout, all right? Tempo is everything, mind and muscle. You see Mike preach it all the time. Keep it in the quads. Find that strand of muscle that you need to build. Put your feet in a place to grab that strand of muscle and then absolutely destroy it. You see that time under tension that he's been under now for a minute and 20 plus seconds? Control, absolute control. Find those fibers of muscle and destroy them. I thought that letter was no, 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 no. They never stayed threatened. 